pressure. Six days till camp starts. Test one, two, three. No. We're learning how to use the camera before Morgan goes to camp. Man, I am not photogenic. <laughs> <laughs> Yanis, for two weeks, he will forget about everything. He will just be a kid. Well, they didn't even know us, and we didn't know them. It's a very loving gesture. I am very excited for going into the pool with a wheelchair. We've never been apart from when this all started three years ago. High Lifeline has helped us to get through one of the most difficult periods in our lives. It's hard on me, honestly, <laughs> than on him. My mom will get under the covers and cry some more. It's always hard to let your kids go, and mainly when you have a kid that's sick. As much as I'm looking forward to two weeks of not carrying her up and downstairs, I'm also very nervous. I can almost feel it. Almost. What I remember is in the beginning, they checked for my blood. They said, your white count is almost zero. I really hated the hospital. The chemos make me nauseous. They do chemo on the spine, and that's really, really bad. It hurts, it makes you sick, it makes you depressed. I've been volunteering in High Life Line for about three years. I got to know Yanis probably close to three months now. I've um, been visiting here a few times. I've sent other volunteers to get to know Yanis and to broaden his social circle. We realized how entrenched we were in sort of this life, and then it gave us a chance to like take a breath. I had to take, I believe, over 50 pills a day. I mean, I guess the worst part is that I'm not walking again. Her bones are very brittle now. Small scrapes for any other child ends up being seven stitches for her and a hairline fracture of the femur. And she's a relapser. She had cancer twice. The first time was when she was seven. Hearing the treatment didn't work was almost worse than hearing she had cancer. You want to do the cucumbers first? She's had two bone marrow transplants at this point. Morgan ended up with a disease called graft versus host third degree burns all over your entire body. And she actually asked to die. She said, let me die. I can't do this. There are times when you're, you know, you're sitting next to a bed. Your child can't talk, can't verbalize. And you're there just for days on end. You don't You don't eat, you don't sleep. You, you look and you watch, and you look for any sign, any little tiny sign. Is she breathing? You're not thinking about sleeping. You're not thinking about how am I gonna pay the bills or what time do I have to be at work? You're not thinking about any of that. You still have to do those things, and you have to figure out how to do those things. And I, don't, I honestly don't know how we would have done it without, without High Life Line. I don't know how we would have done it. Oh, they're amazing. Amazing organization. They take care of Morgan and they take care of the parents. The camp that she's going to be going to is going to be a, a, a tremendous boost for her. And that's all be, uh, because of High Lifeline. Lighten up his life. Make it lighter, nicer, you know, pink. Tomorrow's the big day. Tomorrow's when I go to Camp Simcha. They have an awesome entrance is what I heard. Everyone rushes at you or something like that, and BAM! For the first time in Camp Simcha history, Yannis Davidson! Here we go! Jump! 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 Let's give it up! Anytime you can see your child happy, it trickles down to a good day for me. We love Morgan and Camp Simcha! He's having a good time, being independent, gaining tremendously just in life experience. Camp, I was having so much fun that I actually forgot about a lot of bad things. I think the most fun thing to do with the counselors was play soccer. I guess the most exciting thing was probably the helicopter ride. And it was just amazing. I'd say if you're going to go to this camp, you're going to have a blast. This thing needs like rockets. You probably won't be ever sad. 
You'll always have somebody to make you feel like you're at home. Let's go, Morgan! She got to do what her friends were doing that weren't sick. She got to have camp stories now to go to school with. It's so wonderful to see your child happy because you go so long without that sometimes. The camp is, is a great place, so it allows you the comfort to let go a little bit. Just have fun. Be crazy. It seems something obvious, but it's not. The love they have, the kindness, it's, uh, it's out of this world. The level of support and the level of commitment that, that we've received has just unprecedented. It is a one-day-at-a-time thing and Chai Lifeline is that lifeline to get you to the next day. Camp was awesome. I think it'll help other kids like me because it kind of makes you forget everything. Thank you, Chai Lifeline. Hey, thanks for making it an awesome two weeks of my life. And I do hope I can go back this year and the next year and hopefully help out when I can when I'm older enough.